fuck you. Listen, fuck you. You're an asshole. We hate you. We don't want to see your fucking puppy face. Ah! 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 Guys, gals, and everyone in between, we've got a lot to talk about today. We do. Um, Nintendo Direct happened this morning at 7 a.m. Pacific Time. I was snug as a bug in a rug, solemnly asleep in bed, snuggled in with my family. And when I woke up, I opened up my phone, and I started reading all the news and realized, wow, there was no reason for me to be awake at 7 a.m. because I can easily access the news right after to talk about on the podcast. What a revelation. <laughs> right? I actually have an idea. And you guys have to be careful because when I have an idea, sometimes it can be very dangerous. Okay? You got to step back. Oh, shit. Phil has an idea. Well, hold on. Let me get my hazmat suit on just in case. Right? What a complete idiot. So there's something new I want to start with all of you every week. All right? And <clears throat> I don't necessarily know if I want to call it a certain thing or not. I think maybe it makes more sense to not have a, a specific name for it. All right? But here's the deal. Here's the idea. Let me toss it out there. Okay. Earlier this week, well, about a week ago now, I would say, I started with YouTube Shorts. Okay. And right now, the things that I'm using YouTube Shorts for are my daily short schedule. At the end of every day, I just abridge my schedule and tell you what it's going to be for the next day, essentially. And anything silly in between. Like, for example, I did a highlight of Jasper jumping into my chair yesterday, not moving and not wanting me to play Earthbound. Right. That was pretty funny. So every once in a while, I would like to do something like that. Okay. But. <clears throat> One thing that I would like to do that maybe could end up being quite interesting for the channel, okay? I would like to do a weekly highlight short. Now, what that means is that what I would like to do is try to figure out what was the best or most interesting or funniest moment that happened in my entire week of streaming. And he's emotionless, he's boring, and it was boring as dirt that I can highlight as a YouTube short on my day off. Because I feel like on my day off, obviously when I'm not streaming, <clears throat> that's a day when typically people are not going to be coming to the channel, right? So that's a good time to put out a short highlighting the best moment of the previous week. And then people will be like, oh, I want to see that moment. And maybe they'll head over and, and watch some videos or whatever. You see? I think it's a good way to emphasize what's happening here in, in a week's uh, time frame. Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> Motivation of attendees decreased by 50. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Man, my throat. I got a frog in my throat. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, trying to get it out. I think I got it out now. Annoying. It's Mercedes' birthday. I always buy everyone flowers, male and female, so let's go ahead. Saturday, we'll either do more Earthbound or we'll do more Splatoon 3. I'm not sure yet. Saturday night, I am off from streaming. Wait, what? Ladies and gentlemen, let me let me repeat myself. Saturday night, I am off from streaming. <laughs> what? I shake my jowls in shock. What are you talking about? Phil's not going to be streaming one night? Yes. 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 Well, no, I will not be streaming. Yes, I will not be. Yes, I will know. That's uh, saying yes to a negative is really weird. I will not be here on Saturday night. Why not? Because this month, four videos were purchased via my Patreon. And I need to actually sit down and have ample time to film these private React videos. Now, some of these videos very well may be made public after the fact. They may be uploaded and become public after the fact. Okay? I don't know. It's up to those people who purchased those Patreon videos to determine that. It's their, their choice. The next thing we have to talk about is the tier two members goal, all right? Right now we're at 454 members. If we hit 500 members by the end of the month, which we have more than half the month left, it's definitely doable to get 50 more memberships, whether people join, renew, or gift, okay? If we hit 500 members by the end of the month, number one, that would really help because as you know, last month I lost over 300 members during the false copyright strike fiasco. I'm gonna need your guys' help, I really am. I'm gonna need your support morally, everything. I need it. That's bullshit, because that adds up to, no exaggeration, almost $1,000. All right, guys. Let's do it. Let's get all the monies. 
Yeah. It's like, if you, if you do the math of the level of memberships that I lost, because it wasn't just standard members. There were higher up level members too and stuff that didn't renew. I lost a ton of income as a result of this scumbag who hit me with the false copyright strikes. And that's going to hurt a ton this month when I get paid by YouTube and it's way less than usual. I'm going to be really hurting. All right. So we need to build the channel back up to where it was. We've already done a good job. I mean, already a hundred members have been added to where we were. Now, if we get to 500 members by the end of the month, number one, I'm going to do a second Halloween event where I'm going to react to the Rob Gavigan YouTube channel. He does all kinds of dark, macabre videos about spooky, scary, creepy, oddity stuff. He does murder documentaries about murderers that did really heinous things. And if we hit this goal, I'm going to speak to Rob about having a curated list of videos that he feels are the scariest ones ever that we can then watch back during this cool Halloween special react event. Okay? So that's number one reward. The other half of the reward is that you will then get to pick the kind of costume, all right, that I will be able to wear during the Halloween event. I will do categories. For example, comic book character, video game character, Hollywood movie monster, pop culture icon. All right, phew. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The Halloween 2021 event begins. Wait a minute, what do I do? Okay, wait, here we go, ready? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Halloween 2021. Anyone want a cookie? <laughs> when I get scared, I eat cookies. <laughs> so this is a full body costume. I'm not kidding you. Look. <laughs> it goes all the way down to my feet. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. You'll pick the category, then I'll go out and I'll find a costume to wear during the event. Okay, so pretty cool. All right, pretty good to double advantage uh, if we do hit this tier two goal. All right, so please consider becoming a member if you're not. So many benefits to being a member. It helps the channel and I really need the help right now because I'm trying to play catch up now to where I was. And this really sucks having all the momentum I had and having it be stifled the way that it was. I need to get back to where I was. Okay, so please consider it or consider gifting. Whatever you want to do, it all helps the channel. Fair enough? Okay. What does the tips go for to help me out right now? Because I'm really, really in a bad financial position right now. And I don't even know how I'm going to make it until I get paid by Twitch later this month. So that's what it's for. Just to help out, man. I'm, I am. I'm pretty much to the point where, yeah, I'm financially destitute. It sucks. So it is what it is. One final housekeeping thing. In regards to Ask the King. This is my ongoing Q&A show. Where for an entire show, I answer your questions. And I take them from my forums. I take them from my members. I take them from Twitter. I take them from the stream chat. There's a variety of sources, okay? It's going to be roughly scheduled for Thursday the 22nd. Let me just reconfirm that date. Yes, which is a Thursday. It's not 100% locked for that date, but it's likely the date it's going to be. Okay? The best way to post up your questions is to type exclamation point, ask the king into the stream chat. And please... Go to those forums that I'll link you to at dspgaming.com and post up your questions in the thread. All right? That would be perfect. Uh, the more questions I get, the better the show is. All right? What's the difference between Ask the King and a normal stream where I just answer your questions on the fly? Just what I just said. Having a time where I can sit down and dedicate myself to intelligent answers that I feel are thought out and, in and informative but also entertaining is a lot different than on the fly people asking me silly questions. So I'll give you an example. All the time people come to the stream and they say, Hey Phil, uh, what's your top five favorite this? What's your least favorite that? What's a moment that you feel stands out with this and that? When you ask me questions like that on a stream, I can't just answer them. I'm in the midst of usually playing a game or doing something else that's attention demanding. All right. I'm already juggling a million things in my brain at once. I can't now scour my memory to try to get you dedicated answers and stuff like that. I don't, don't I don't have lists sitting around that I can reference. That's the kind of question that takes concerted effort and research to figure out. King Swag is such a ridiculous question and I'm not answering it. I don't answer ridiculous hypotheticals. He asked me if I, if I could get a million dollars but I would die in five years would I take it. That's stupid. It's a stupid question.